Hey guys, Mason here, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make a chain in Blender. For this, I'm just going to use a simple Roblox character, but you can use like whatever model you want. So just make sure to like load in a model so you can get like the proportions of it right. So yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and move this back for now. So just go ahead and click Shift A to go ahead and add a torus right here. And go ahead and change the dimensions of this to whatever you want. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and change it to about um, about right there is good. So yeah, then segments, I'm just going to go ahead and change this to 4. And yeah, 4 looks about good. And 4 or 3. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go with 6 and 4. And that is about good for now. So yeah, now for this, I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these faces right over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and extend this outward. So let's go ahead and go to the bottom and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and make this a little bit taller just like that and now this is about good so we're just gonna go ahead and move that to the side go ahead and move my model back up here and there we go now let's go ahead and go into edit mode for this and let's go ahead and drag this over here and scale it down so you can go ahead and make this whatever size you want i'm gonna go ahead and make it about that size is right let's go ahead and see if that is good and yeah that's about good also if you want it to be a little bit thicker you can actually go ahead and go shift no you can go control s just like that to go ahead and make it wider so, so control s you can make it skinnier or you can go ahead and make it wider and let's go ahead and do that i mean it's all s not control s all s so so here we go what is the original size it's that let's go ahead and make that a little bit wider maybe just about that is good now since it's a little bit thicker I'm probably gonna scale it down a little bit more and go ahead and put it about right there let's go ahead and make it sure it's on the shoulder we don't want it be to be touching the shoulder because we're gonna go ahead and make another one so let's go ahead and put it at about the halfway mark right there and yeah there we go that is about good make sure it's not in the head and now we're just gonna go shift D and then we're going to rotate it on the X axis. So R, X, then 90, just like that. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and move that downward just like this. So it kind of lines up with it. And let's go ahead and go into the top view right here. And let's go ahead and rotate that a little bit so it kind of like follows the head. So yeah, we're also going to go ahead and click L to select this one as well. And go Shift D, G to go ahead and move it over. And then R to rotate just like that. And I think we need to go ahead and move that out a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab it. G to move it outward. And about there is good. We might need to rotate this one a little bit more. And just about that is good. Maybe rotate them both. And yeah, I would say that's about good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then we're going to go ahead and select these two. Control Shift D. Shift D and duplicate it. And yeah, we want all of this to kind of line up. So if there's any mistakes, you can always just go back and go ahead and change those a little bit. So let's go ahead and rotate this. There we go. And this one will probably be need to be rotated a little bit more. There we go. So like that, Shift D, G to move it forward. And go ahead and rotate it. All right, and there we go. We're going to stop about right there. It's about almost to the front. At the front, we're going to make it go downward, kind of like that. So, so let's go ahead and go back over here. Let's go ahead and make this go forward right here. And also, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you need to go back and make any changes, just go ahead and click off the one you're currently using. Hover over the one that you want to change. Click L to select it. And then you can go ahead and rotate it or do whatever. So there we go. This one, this is about a good size for what I'm trying to do. But if you want to go ahead and make these smaller, you can go ahead and do that. But for me, this is about, about good. So let's go ahead and select this one as well. And let's go ahead and go like this. Also, if you want to turn on mirroring, you can you can do that too. But I'm trying to not make them like look identical. Having a few changes is always good. So, so let's go ahead and check. We want to make sure these two are our pretty much lined up at the end and yeah so let's go ahead and select these right here shift d and go ahead and move them forward 
once it starts to get kind of towards the edge we're going to kind of make it go downward so here we go and now let's go in this view right here go ahead and move it towards the edge we can actually go ahead and select this one right here X to delete now let's go ahead and select this one rotate it and let's go ahead and move it kind of downward we might want to make this one kind of slope down too not too much but that's about good for me it can go in the shoulder but if you don't want it to then you can go ahead and change that now let's go ahead and select this one kind of move it downwards just like that make sure it doesn't go into the shoulder too much and yeah that is about good let's go ahead and make it a little bit less inside the shoulder so let's go ahead and rotate it like that go ahead and move it out also it's fine if these like go inside each other right there that is okay and let's go ahead and select this one and go ahead and move it down then don't worry about the other side for now because we'll go ahead and copy this onto the other side and there we go make sure this isn't touching the body because we want this one to not go inside it rotate select go ahead and move it down and there we go we're just going to go ahead and leave it at that for now let's go ahead and select these right here though and how far does that one go yeah let's go ahead and select these shifty and now let's go ahead and move this over here and is that good yeah that's about good there we go and now let's say you want to add text right here if you just want it to be the chain you could continue it and make it like a slope like that but I want to go ahead and add a text to mine. So I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and go into object mode. Shift A. And go ahead and add a text right here. And now go ahead and go into edit mode to edit your text. Delete that. And I want it to say king. Just like this. Now we can go ahead and click on this little A icon. And you can go ahead and go into which font right here. And under regular you can go ahead and click this folder icon right here. To go ahead and add whatever font you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the luckiest guy font because I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, now that we have this, we don't need to do anything else with it. So we're just going to go ahead and move it to the side just in case we mess something up. And then we're going to go ahead and click shift D to move it over. And now with this, just go ahead and right click and click convert to mesh just like that. If you want to, you can actually do this with the original but you could always just duplicate it and move it to the side for later just in case you make a mistake with this. So yeah, also some fonts aren't that good. And oh, what happened to the G? Yeah, some fonts aren't as good as others. Like if you're trying to have a certain amount of triangles like under 10,000, you might have to use a different font because some fonts have quite a bit of vertices. Let's go ahead and turn on statistics right there so that so this one doesn't have too much triangles. So yeah, now we're just going to go ahead and go like this. Click E to extrude. We can always change the height and stuff of that later on. Now let's go ahead and click A to select all. Go into up here. R, rotate on the Z axis. Then 90, just like this. And we actually want this to be in the middle. So let's go ahead and go set origin, center of mass, and there we go. And now let's go ahead and move it over here. Now it's just like sitting here flat like this so we're gonna go ahead and rotate it on the Y axis so tab R Y 90 just like this and how far do we want this to be scaled um, about I kind of want mine to be big so let's say right there yeah right there is about good but also if it's a little a bit hard to see you can always go up here click this turn on a cavity just gonna put the shadows to zero you can turn on cavity change these to a uh, two and then click both change these to two as well and there you go now you can clearly see your chain and whenever you go into this view you can clearly see everything so yeah so let's go ahead and move this back we'll mess with the text a little bit later let's just make sure it's all lined up right now so let's say we want it about right there that is about good and since these are super close to the chains yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and edit the change real quick and I just want them to go ahead and connect to the letters. So let's go ahead and rotate these a little bit. And rotate. And alright, right there is about good. Let's go ahead and rotate it a little bit more, kind of like this. And yeah, that's about good. I don't want it going in too much. And now let's go ahead and do the same for this side. And yeah, this all depends on how big you want your text to be. Or if you want text at all. You can go ahead and do a completely different style if you want. 
I, I actually made another chain that's in a whole different style. So yeah, so it doesn't have to be exactly like this. And also the text can be kind of weird sometimes. Like if you click L, it will just select one face sometime. But it looks like this one is going to go ahead and select the whole thing, so that is very nice. So now for this, the text is, the text is looking kind of plain. So I'm going to go ahead and go into edit mode for the text. And I'm just going to go ahead and select all the faces on this front side. And actually, I forgot, we can actually just go like this. Because we haven't connected it to the chain just yet. So we can actually just go ahead and select all on this side. Just like this. Once we select it, to, once we attach it to the chain, it will be a little bit harder. Now we're just going to go ahead and click I to inset. And yep, there we go. The G is breaking. And I think I actually missed a point right there. Did I? And I think I, yeah, I missed a point right there. So is it working? I think I missed a point up there as well. Alright, I think I fixed it for now. There are a few things that I'm going to have to change on the G. But everything else should be a little bit easier. So, so about right there is about good. I'll have to go back and change a few things on the G. Such as those spots right there because some of them are going into each other. Yeah, it's a lot easier for things like this, like the K, I, and N, because they are super simple. And then, now we're just going to go ahead and click E to move it inward, just like this. And there we go, that is about good. And there are still a few things I need to go ahead and go back and change on the E. And I could easily do that by doing this. And what is exactly the problem over here? And it looks like some of them are going inside each other, which... Yeah, alright, I think I'll probably need to move all of these ones forward for them not to break, all the ones that are inside, and let's just go ahead and test it, and this isn't the fix right here, and yeah, that is what I need to do, and it looks like I actually fixed it, yeah, that actually was a lot easier than I thought it would be, still looks a little bit weird, I can go back and change that later if I want to, and yeah, this is just an example but y'all can just go ahead and go back in here and change this like right here. This is easy. It's just because these are inside of that part. I can just go ahead and scale these down. And go ahead and toss them about right there. And there's still a little bit of change that I can do. But it's okay for now. And here is our chain. If you want to make any more changes to this before you connect it to the chain. You can. See I'm just going to go ahead and click this. And then shift click on this. Control J to go ahead and join them together. And there we go, there is my chain just like that. And my cursor is all the way over there, so set origin, center of mass. And there we go, there is our nice chain right there. We can go ahead and click on it. Less than 5,000 triangles, pretty nice. Now you can go ahead and color this and texture it however you want. So, so that is how you make a chain in Blender. And yeah, that is going to be all for this video though. So go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video.